One, two, a one, two, three. We can investigate limiting factors in the lab by performing experiments using appropriate controls. The first thing we need to do is bring four plants. One of them should be used as a control where all substrates needed for photosynthesis to occur are present. The second one should be a plant of variegated leaves, which have parts that lack chlorophyll. The third one should be a plant lacking carbon dioxide. This could be done by placing potassium hydroxide to absorb CO2 and wrapping the plant with a transparent cover. And the fourth plant should be a plant lacking light. This could be done by using a folded piece of black paper and fastening the paper on both sides of the plant's leaves. They should look as the following. For the four experiments, the apparatus needed are a beaker, water, Bunsen burner, a test tube, a test tube rack, two droppers, iodine, alcohol, and a white tile. Before we start the experiments, safety precautions should be taken. Wear eye protection if available. Take care with boiling water. Use forceps to handle the leaves. And do not expose alcohol to the Bunsen burner since it is very flammable. Experiment number one. Step one. Destarch a plant with variegated leaves by putting in a cupboard for at least 24 hours. Step two. Leave your plant in a warm sunny spot for a few days. Step three. Test one of the leaves for a starch. This could be done by dropping a leaf into a beaker of boiling water exposed to a Bunsen flame and leaving it for about 30 seconds. This is done to break down cell membranes in order to let iodine in. Remove the leaf and drop it into a tube of alcohol and then turn off the Bunsen burner and insert the tube with the leaf into the beaker until all the chlorophyll has come out of the leaf. The leaf will now be brittle, so remove it from the alcohol and dip it into hot water to soften it. Spread out the leaf on a white tile and cover it with iodine solution. If starch is present, then a blue-black color shows. Here are the results. You can see the iodine turning blue-black on the green parts which contain chlorophyll, while it remains orange on white edges that do not contain chlorophyll. This indicates that photosynthesis does not take place when chlorophyll is not present. Experiment number two. Destarch the plant which is lacking CO2 and leave it near a warm sunny window for a few days and repeat the starch test in the previous experiment and notice the color change. Here are the results.
the iodine remains orange and does not change its color. This indicates that photosynthesis does not take place when CO2 is not present. Experiment number three. Do start the plant lacking light and leave it near a warm place for a few days. Remove the cover from your leaf and again test the leaf for starch. Here are the results. The iodine on the part of the leaf that was not exposed to light remains orange, while on the edges that light has reached, it turns blue-black. Experiment number four. Bring the control plant, which does not lack anything, and de-starch it, and then leave it in a warm, sunny place. Test it for starch. Here are the results. The whole leaf turns completely bluish black. This indicates that a plant requires carbon dioxide, light, chlorophyll, and also water in order to photosynthesize.